This is my dessert. Uh, how can anybody eat this? Uh, this pork skin. Chicharon. Uh, chicharon pork. Ayan. Ang kunat. My goodness. I can't believe it. How can anybody eat this shit? <laughs> Sorry. I just can't help it. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. See? The big rice is done. And the two and the rest is done. Oh. <laughs> I got more of this. I'm gonna save it for, for later because I ran out of rice. Huh? Meaning to say I just finished all the rice a while ago as big as my head? My goodness. And I just finished this. And then I haven't finished all this stuff. Well, that's how Filipino it anyway. We tend to eat more rice than the viand, okay? <laughs> than the meat or the vegetable or anything. We tend to eat more rice than anything else. That's how we eat in the Philippines. Unlike any other countries, unlike, uh, unlike any other foreign countries, that they only eat a little of carbohydrates, but it's more on meat, it's more on uh, a lot of things, you know. But sometimes, like, uh, in order to, uh, to have more carbohydrates, they tend to eat more bread, and uh, some would be eating more pasta. But here in the Philippines, our number of food would be rice. Doesn't matter if we got some vegetables, or we have some fish, or meat, or anything, as long as we got a lot of rice, and that's it. Because that's the way how we live here in the Philippines, okay? Because of the lifestyle, because of, I guess, because of poverty, or anything like that. Anyway, in terms of poverty, okay. Just like everybody knows that I was in a situation where I was asking for some help. And literally, I was actually begging for some help. But that doesn't mean that if somebody is actually in that kind of situation, like I was sick, and my uh, son was also sick, and then after that, my husband also got sick. And that's the reason why he can't, able, he can't be able to work at that moment. And so everybody was actually frozen. But that doesn't mean that that's the end of it, okay? I just want everybody to know that because Frantra wasn't able to put everything, all the story, you know, they only concentrated on a certain fact that they just wanted to put that concept without having to pull everything. I'm not saying that I'm blaming them for not doing so, but it really affected me for sure. And there's a lot of Filipinos, Filipinos I should say, that they felt that they've been misled because the fact that I still had some cars, the fact that I still uh, managed to uh, stay in a nice house and managed to have an internet, managed to pay my bills and stuff like that, they just didn't get the whole story. Okay, but I don't want to get there anymore because, you know, I've been repeated a lot of times, many times, you can name it. Okay, I just want to clarify something here that uh, Frantra wasn't able to uh, put <clears throat> all of my interviews, especially how I lost my money, how I invested my money, and how I have lost also some of my businesses in the province, and at the same time, how I managed to invest also my money through Better Globe on trees, okay? But right now, because I was able to get all my profits right now, it's not only all, actually, it's not all, as a matter of fact. This is, is a long-term investment that I'd be able to secure after 20 years but right now it already started with 15 percent every year and that's the reason why i managed to live right now even i'm just sleeping eating cooking doing some facebook and then doing some part-time businesses and stuff like that and that's the reason why i said i have to put some money also through a business like soap yeah and soap or other beauty products that's the reason why you can see it right there on my facebook i've been posting a lot and I've been ordering a lot of products also from China, manufactured by China, and all of a sudden they um, send me right here in order to share it to you guys, okay? So that's the truth, okay? So for all those people, and for all those, uh, not people, how do you call them? 
I don't care. <laughs> this is the way they treated a lot of people, especially in that kind of situation. The way they treated me, the way they maltreated me, they have uh, <clears throat> they have told a lot of things against me and stuff like that. Well, I mean, it's not humanly, okay? And I felt it. It wasn't really, it wasn't really nice at all but it's okay it's their life it's their decision and once the karma is going to get back to them and then that's going to be it okay me i got my karma it's a good karma that i'm back to where i was right now and here i am yes <laughs>